Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of the Almighty. So today I am here for class 2 English version and today our subject is math. And today I am going to show you word problems part 2. I have already given some word problems in my last video. You can see the video from my channel in recently up uploaded. So today I am going to our topic is word problems part 2. So let's start. So students, where I have done some word problems, about 10 word problems in my last video. So today, I am again going to show some another 10 word problems. So let's start. It, so at first, we have a word problem from page 61. But two, Raju's father works 12 hours a day. If he works three days, then how many hours will he work? So students, at first, Raju's father works in one day 12 hours. So in three days, 12 into 3 hours, so that is, is equal to 36 hours. So here, if we multiply 12 by 3, 3 into 2 is equal to 6 and 3 into 1 is equal to 3, that is 36 hours. So Raju's father will work 36 hours in 3 days. So student, this is the first word problem. Now I am going to show you the next one. So there student, this is the next word problem from page 61 again. Rohim wants to buy three copies of a book on fairy tale whose price is 30 taka each. How much taka will he pay? So students, at first number two here, one book cost 30 taka. Three book cost there are 30 into 3 taka that is if we multiply 30 into 3 that will be 90 here 3 into 0 is equal to 0 and 3 into 3 is equal to 9 that is 90 taka so Rohim will pay 90 taka so these are the word problems from page 61 now I am going to show you the another word problem so students now we are in page 62 it is our third word problem there are two lozenges in a packet. How many lozenges are there in eight packet? So students at first we can see here in one packet there are two lozenges. So you have to find the number of lozenges in eight packets. So students now I am going to show you the solution. But three given in one packet there are two lozenges. In eight packets there are two into eight lozenges. That is if we multiply 2 into 8 that will be 16 lozenges. So that is so there are 16 lozenges in 8 packets. So student this is the third word problem with solution. Now I am going to show you the next one. So students this is from page 63. So here we can see there are 10 benches in a classroom. 5 pupils can sit on a bench. How many pupils can sit in total in the classroom? So students for your understanding I am going to discuss what is people. Pupils is a synonym of students. So here we can see people such students are the same meaning, bears the same meaning. So at first we can see here in one bench there are five, five pupils can sit. So uh, how many pupils can sit in 10 benches or in the total classroom? As you can see in the total classroom, there are only 10 benches. So, now I am going to show you the solution. Number 4 here. In one bench can sit 5 pupils. In 10 benches can sit 5 into 10. As you can see here, in one bench can sit 5 pupils can sit. So, we have to find the number of pupils in 10 benches. So, we have to multiply 5 by 10. So, that is 50. So, here 5 into 0 is equal to 0. 5 1 to 1 into is equal to 5. That is 50 pupils. So, 50 pupils can sit in total in the classroom. So, this is the fourth question. Now, I am going to show you the fifth one. So, again from page 63. Father works 4 hours daily. How many hours does he work in 7 days? So, does he work in 7 days? So students, we can see in one day father works 4 hours. 
So we have to find how many hours does he work in seven days. So now we will see the solution. Father work in one day four hours. So in seven days four into seven. Here we, we can see in one day he works four hours. So we have to find how many hours does he work in seven days. So we have to multiply this four by seven. That is four into seven is equal to twenty-eight hours. So father will work twenty-eight hours in seven days. <clears throat> now students, now I am going to show you the next question. So this is again from page sixty-three. Ujjal wants to buy four books and each book costs twenty-one taka. How much does he pay? So students, at first we can see here Ujjal wants to buy four books, but he, and each of the books costs twenty-one taka. So students, we can see one book costs twenty-one taka. So we have to find how many taka does four books cost. Then that will be the answer that how much money will Ujjal pay. Now we see the solution. So number six here, one book costs twenty-one taka. Four books cost twenty one into four. As you can see, one book cost twenty one. So we have to find the cost of four books. So twenty we have to multiply twenty one by four. That is twenty one into four is equal to eighty four. Here four into one is equal to four, and four into two is equal to eight. That is eighty four taka. So Ujjal will pay eighty four taka. Now next question. What problem? This is from page sixty-six. We are now in another page. So, students, here, how many papers will each child get if eight forty-eight papers are divided by eight children equal? So, students, now you can see that now we are in a. This is one kind of division or word problem. So here it is given that eight children will get forty-eight papers. So we have to find how how many papers will one children will get. So this is a di division word problem. So number seven here, eight children will get forty-eight papers. So one child will get forty-eight divided by eight. So student, let me make you understand. Here forty-eight papers will be given to eight children. So how we have to find one, how many papers will one child will get. So we have to divide. This forty-eight papers by one child. That is forty. Uh, sorry, forty-eight by eight children. So forty-eight divided by eight is equal to six. That is six papers. So each children will get six papers. Now I am going to show you another word problem. So students, now we are going showing to show you another word problem from page sixty-six. There is a father has sixty-three taka. He wants to give his the money equally to his family of seven persons. How much taka will each person get? So students, you can see here the father has sixty-three taka. So he will divide this taka into seven persons of his family. So as you can see, these seven persons will get sixty-three taka totally. But we have to find one person will get how much taka. So students. Let me see. Give me you the answer. Eight here. Seven persons will get sixty-three taka. So you have to find one. How many? One person will get sixty-three divided by seven. As you can see, seven person will get sixty-three taka. So sixty-three will be divided by seven. So that is nine taka. So each person will get nine taka. Now I am going to show you the ninth word problem. So, this is another word problem. We distributed thirty-two leeches among a few children. Each child gets eight leeches. How many children were there? So, student, this is one kind of critical question, but my solution will make you understand very easily. So, let me give you the solution here. So, given eight leeches were given to one child. So, at last. We can at first we have to I need to describe that in our last some word problems we have we have seen that every for example eight person got atholisis or something so now we have to find 
how many persons or how many children were there. So we can see eight leeches were given to one child. So thirty-two leeches were given to here. As we can see, thirty-two leeches were given to. We have to find how many children were there. And as we can see, eight leeches were given to one children. So here we have to divide this thirty-two by eight. That is four children. As we, if we want to prove that this is this division is right or not. You can multiply this four by eight, then you can get this answer. That is thirty-two. So we can see four into eight is equal to thirty-two, and as you can see, thirty-two leeches were given to four children. So there are four children. So students, now I am going to show you the last question for today's video. That is, this is the last question. A school has forty-five notebooks. For an hour to students, if the school gives one student five notebooks, how many students will get the award? So, student, this is again the same question like the last one. So, we have to find how many students were there. And as you can see, one information is given there. There are and each student gets five notebooks. So, now I'm going to show you the solution. So, ten given. Five notebooks were given to one student, so it is given already in the question. Now we have to find forty-five notebooks were given to. Again here we have to divide this forty-five by five. So as we, because we have to know the number of students who will get the award. So as we can see, five notebooks were given to one student. So forty-five divided by five, that is nine students. So. Nine students will get the award. So, student, this is the answer of this word problem. So, students, that this is all for today, and these are the word problems for today's video. So, student, thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, then don't forget to like, comment, and share. And for new videos, must subscribe our channel. So, that's all. Assalamualaikum.